Welcome back to the show. So listen, when it comes to going green, there's so much conflicting information out there. Stuff can get really confusing fast. That is why we love when our next guest is here because he lays everything out for us in a nuanced yet understandable way. Well, it's my favorite. Yeah. He's a research scientist at York University's Faculty of Environmental Studies, and he's here to break down fact from fiction. Calvin Lacken, welcome back. Yay! All right, let's do that. Very excited. So we're going to go through a series of statements about going green. We're all going to guess if the statement is fact or flawed with our paddles, and then you're going mm -hmm. to set us straight. Does that sound reasonable? Sounds good to me. Okay, so let's dive in. The first statement is, if you can recycle something, you should. So is this, audience, everyone, is this, is this logic fact or flawed? If you oh, can, I, I feel like it's a trick. trick question. I think it's trick too. Can you it's, reuse it first? It's flawed. Yes! So just because you can recycle something doesn't mean that you should. There's a fundamental difference between recycling and recyclability. Almost anything can be recycled if you throw enough time and money at it. Um, so it might seem like a cool idea to turn shampoo bottles into running shoes or chip bags into totes. But the reality is you're spending an enormous amount of money to make a product that will still be landfilled in the end. Oh. Recyclability, on the other hand, is a much more nuanced a topic because it looks at things like economic tenability, social impact, environmental impact. And so not all recycling is created equal. Oh. Okay, so if we're putting too much emphasis on recycling, in addition to what you said about recyclability, like what should we focus on instead? Or is it learning more about recyclability? Mm -hmm. so, so I think actually the, the key is here is there's a very catchy phrase, reduce, reuse, recycle. Mm -hmm. But that's not just a catchy phrase. It's the order in which we're supposed no, to do things. Okay. Okay. Our reduce. goal should be to reduce first, reuse second, yes. and recycle as a last resort. I see. Huh? Oh, that makes sense. I right? Guess that. Yeah, yeah. You know what? That's that? good. You know what? Recycling is often. I think that in the order yes. of things, I think we go recycle probably before reducing. And somebody, yeah, yeah. I don't know what world leader said this. Somebody said Canadians are addicted to recycling. That is very mm -hmm. true. And, and they and they didn't say it in a nice way. Okay, okay. I love that. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next question. This one I'm so excited about because I'm I'm car hunting right now. Electric cars. Are they better for the environment? Is this a fact or is it flawed? Uh, flawed. Is everyone flawed? new? Yeah. Everybody I'm just, what do we feel? There's a few, there's a few. Yeah. So, so flawed, yeah. So uh, I wanna preface this by saying the transition to EVs is absolutely necessary in the fight against climate change. But just because you have an EV vehicle doesn't necessarily mean it's better for the environment. Uh, manufacturing an EV car requires significantly more resources than a petrol-based car. So therefore, you'd have to drive it thousands of kilometers before you actually get a net environmental benefit. There's also a secondary issue is that end-of-life batteries used in EVs are very toxic, very dangerous, and very difficult to manage. So it's an additional consideration that you don't really have to think of uh, when it comes to a uh, petrol-based car. Okay, wow. can I also add in one more question? Sure. What mining does to the earth to get yeah. the minerals for that battery in the yep. first place? Yeah. The, the footprint is enormous, yeah. It is, yeah. okay. Wildlife too. Also, so, okay, so let's say someone is still considering buying an electric car. <laughs> what should they consider before doing it? So I think the most important thing is, well, there's two criteria. So there's fuel efficiency and charge range. Mm -hmm. So essentially, so for petrol-based cars, fuel, uh, fuel efficiency refers to miles per gallon. How mm -hmm. far can you get on one gallon of gas? And charge range for an electric vehicle says, how far can I drive it before I need to recharge it? Right. The longer the charge range, the smaller your environmental footprint. Oh, okay. So look for okay. a lo long charge battery. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Great. Okay, so this is next. This is the statement. Natural products are always preferred over synthetic products. Is this logic? Is this logic fact or flawed? I'm gonna say flawed. Uh, I, mm, so it, it is flawed. I Okay. It is so, flawed. Yeah. So okay. this is one of uh, the most confusing things for consumers because when we think of the word synthetic, we often conjure up images of laboratories and chemicals, and we assume that natural is better. But we shouldn't as ascribe value statements to these terms. You can have instances where synthetic is better than natural, and natural is better than synthetic. There's also a secondary issue that what constitutes natural <laughs> is very ill-defined. You have thousands of products that kind of use that language where they say organic or sustainably sourced, when in reality there is no common definition or metrics, there's a lot of confusion for consumers. So once again, synthetic doesn't mean bad and natural doesn't mean good. Love that. Okay. Love that. All right, here's our next statement. Guys, my head's spinning already. Uh, it's one a lot of us will be considering as we head into the holidays, so it's a big one. And I've debated this in my family for years. 
Natural Christmas trees are actually better for the environment than artificial trees. Fact think, or flawed? Fact. Flawed. Flawed. Oh no, fact. That's what I meant. Natural, like, is a real tree. Hopefully, because I have a fake one. <laughs> so, uh, natural trees are what's best for the environment. So that's so a fact. fact. Yeah. Whoa! So for real? Really? Yeah. Are so you cutting? Okay, go please. So yeah. even though, <laughs> even though uh, a synthetic tree uh, can be used multiple times, there's a couple considerations. Yeah. One, it also requires significantly more resources when compared to a natural tree, and also it's traveling thousands of kilometers to reach our home. Most of these trees are manufactured in Asia. The second issue is that you'd have to use it between 10 and 15 years before you start to see an environmental return. Okay. And generally pe uh, speaking, people don't hold on to synthetic trees that long. And oh I also gosh. heard that the time that a natural tree is actually in existence from when it's planted and it grows, it's actually doing the earth good by using carbon dioxide. Absolutely, yeah. But and my we just cut it down. Tree never okay, did it. but what about, what, I used to do a natural tree and we would put it to the curb and the idea was that the city takes it and does something really wonderful with it. Um, is that what we should be doing? So it depends on the city. So some, <laughs> communi yeah, so some communities do offer special curbside pickups for uh, end of life trees. Uh, they'll take it and they'll mulch it or they'll compost it. However, that tends to only be for single family homes in urban areas with yeah. curbside collection. Um, in other communities, you can actually try to break down the natural tree yourself, bundle it up, and include it as part of your city's yard waste program. Oh, that's oh, a good idea. That's very that's a good. Great, yeah, that's I a like great that. tip. See, we told you that Calvin brings the knowledge, mm -hmm. right? Yes. right? Calvin, absolutely the best. You always teach us so much when you're here. Thanks for stopping by. We oh. love you. Thank you so much for having me. We'll be right back. <laughs> hey there, wasn't that great? Do you know where you can find some equally good content? Our YouTube page. It's filled with discussions, debates, and some laughs. Head there now, like and subscribe.